Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. I'm coming to you from a corner of my art studio and today I want to talk to interior designers. Yes, I'm going to be talking to interior designers today because I work with a handful of interior designers and I think, you know what, I've learned some stuff that I've been sharing with artists. Now let me uh, also share some stuff with interior designers because uh, I think you guys may benefit from them too, okay? So, I made a video about content creation and what is the purpose of content creation before this video. This video, as I was, as I was making that video, I was thinking, well, many, many, many people might not think what, might not know what content creation uh, to do or, you know, like I, I explained what is the purpose, what is content creation, but you may be in the place where you're like, oh, okay, I understand that. I understand what content creation is and what is the purpose, but how do I even go you know, get started with it if I have a business, if I'm an interior designer with a business, interior decorator. Uh, well, very simple. Many of us fall, and I'm just going to, I'm going to do a short video about this. Later on, I'm going to get more in depth and you guys can ask questions on the bottom if you want to. And I, I get back to as, as, as much as I can. <laughs> okay, so we make this mistake, right? As professionals, we make, the, this is a very first, I, I believe, the fundamental mistake of the professional is that we, we want to talk to other professionals. And I know this sounds stupid. Like, I know, I understand what you said, but what, what are you talking about? Okay, when you're going to create content, this happened to me. I'm going to give you my example. I'm ready to create content. I want to make some videos. I want to make some articles. I want to do some blogs, and I want to do A, B, and C, and put some photographs. And for artists, it might be more simple, right? Because all you really have to do is take a photo of your artwork and then there's content right there, right? And if you paint every day like myself or you create artwork every day, then you have content daily, right? Awesome, well that's just one line. What about uh, people who don't, who are not, you know, looking at Instagram or Facebook? Maybe other people that are somewhere else in other places like YouTube, you know? Then I have to talk and I have to be in front of a, a camera here, whether it's comfortable or not because I'm creating content. <laughs> so how do I even do that? Okay, let's say you're an interior designer, right? The first, the first, very first mistake we make, let me get back because I was talking about the mistake. The very first mistake we make is that we have so much knowledge, we've acquired so much knowledge. As a professional, whether you've been in the game, I don't know, one year or 20 years, it doesn't matter if you're college, you've acquired more knowledge than 99% of other people who are not in your industry which are your clients, right? Because those would be your prospects. So we make this mistake. We understand a lot. We soak in a lot of information. We read all the books. We go to the museums or you do whatever you do as an interior designer, decorator, maybe. I don't know. You, you went to school. You learn from the, you know, blah, blah, blah. You go to conferences and this and that. And you're soaked in because it's, you're passionate about it and you have all this information. You know how to how to match colors with this, you know what type of furniture that is, you know the styles of art and the blah, 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 blah. You know, you know all of that game. Well, guess what? I don't know that well, when it comes to interior design, right? Uh, your prospect, he doesn't understand anything of that. So when we, when we want, when we're ready to create content, the very first mistake we do is we treat our prospects like they are professionals like us. And I think one of, the, one of the reasons that is, is because we're so disconnected from the prospect. Because we, we've connected ourselves so much into our industry, that we plugged in ourselves so much into our industry, that we just completely neglect the fact, the true fact, that 99% of people out there, our prospects, have no clue about how we dove in <laughs> into the information and into the experience, right? We have so much experience in our stuff, in our craft, in, you know, in our industry. And we want to talk to people or we think about talking to people from that level. And that's why we use jargon. And, you know, if, if you're a painter, you start using stuff like impasto or this or that. You start using all this, all these words that only another uh, professional artist or, or career artist would understand. In that case, that person would probably not purchase your artwork. And if they do, it's maybe because they really enjoy it, but not, you know, 99% of people out there don't know that. They just don't understand. If you're if you're a photographer and you're talking to me about shutters and openings, I have no clue. I have no idea. Like, you lose me. You know, I, I 
see a picture and that's it. It's like most people that buy my artwork, they call it picture. I call it oil painting and this and that. Most people are like, I like that picture. Because most people don't know it. There's nothing wrong with that. But we get caught up in that. We get stuck in that. So, okay, now I explain to you what is the, the what is the problem, right? <laughs> Why we don't create content or we don't know how to. Okay, the next thing that you do, once you realize that, that you've been stuck in your industry, the next thing to do is to get something like this and start writing down questions, very simple stuff, like how, what kind of style, you know, is in trend right now uh, as an interior designer? What kind of, and you gotta start getting, the first thing is that you need to commit yourself to do it, right? Whether you do it on a YouTube or you do it on an Instagram or Facebook or you do all of the above and maybe you have some push power by mean, what I mean by that is that you have some interns or you have employees. Now you have push power. Now you have people helping you with the camera and this and that or posting your content into the various uh, platforms or channels, uh, social media channels, right? But uh, if you don't, that's fine. <laughs> you, I mean, it's still, it still, it comes back to you anyways. So even if you have people, you, you know, you end up you end up doing most of the work just because you're the one who understands the work. Uh, okay, I don't want to get lost in that, but <laughs> but when you create content, just you know, just get a piece of paper and start writing down uh, main main styles. You know, just start writing down stuff that is that is that is very simple. Don't don't get too caught up in the in the high end information about it, just because most people you're gonna lose most people. Most people are like, how do I hang a painting? How do I, you know, how do I box this? How do I do that? How do I make sure I'm ready for, to decor my home for the holidays? How do I, you know, you start thinking like that and all this stuff starts happening. You start getting excited. Why? Because this stuff, you're a master at this stuff. You understand this stuff. You want to write that stuff down. Don't get caught up in organizing it so much yet. Just start writing stuff like that down. Uh, Halloween is coming. How do I decorate my home under a budget for Halloween? And you know, how do I uh, box the stuff so that it's so that it lasts and and that I'm able to reuse it for the next season? And you know, how to shop artwork on a budget? How do I, I don't know? There's a thousand things on every subject you can talk about. But the thing is that you have to stop thinking that you're talking to another interior designer. That is the very first thing you have to do. You got to get back and you're talking to just a person who is not an interior designer. If you were talking to an interior designer, you, you're going to get caught up because you're like, well, they know that already. Well, what would, I, what would I talk about that? That's stupid. They already know that. See, we get caught up in that. You don't want to do that. You just want to start talking about everything you know about interior design, how to complement colors, what, how to choose the right frame for your mirror in your bathroom and this and that. And you guys know all of that stuff. So you want to start just writing down little titles about that, how to do this. A lot of how-tos, a lot of how-tos, how to do this, how to do that. And then once you get yourself a list of that, then you go into where you feel comfortable. You feel comfortable talking. Maybe you like to talk, uh, I don't know, you saw yourself talking on the radio or something. I don't know, do some podcasts. Maybe you're, maybe you're pretty like me. Do some video. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you like writing. Do some blogs. Maybe you want to get in depth into something. Do an article. Do it a little bit longer than a blog. Uh, it's very simple. Maybe you... A lot of Instagram people... I see this this women doing these gorgeous, you know, settings. And they're, they're, they're just crushing it on Instagram. Maybe you... Your client's home. Take a picture. Take 10 pictures. I don't know. And the, the, the thing is that we want to do it perfect. And this is where most of us go wrong. You know, I don't want to take a photograph because then I need the, the professional camera and the, the professional photographer and I'm neither. So I'm not going to do that. Well, it doesn't have to be that way in the beginning. It's just, it's remember in the other video that I made, uh, content creation and social media, it's really to raise your hand and say who you are. It's not really, you're not preparing the ground to say, I am the best. I am the greatest. Look at me. No, it's just to raise your hand and say who you are. That is another, that is you're going to take him farther in. When you, when you start talking about what you do, the, what, what you offer, they, you're going to give them information. Uh, that's another thing. Well, the first thing you want to do is start writing how to, you know, how, just, just to raise your hand after you give them something. Then you, you, you talk to them about who you are. For example, I just told you about content creation, right? How to get started with that. Don't get caught up in it. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm a fine art artist. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.